Alright, so this is a very tricky question that came for four marks. Or that came for two marks, sorry, in uh, December 2016 paper. Okay, and the question says that the rate of al al alkene coordination to PTCl42 minus is highest for. Okay, so which one of them will will uh, will coordinate with PTCl42 minus uh, the fastest? Right now. This is quite a tricky question and the reason being, uh, I'll just talk about it. So uh, the rate of alkene coordination, so how does, so what kind of, first of all we need to consider what kind of bonding takes place, okay. So the pi electrons uh, of, uh, of alkene, okay, so the pi electrons of alkene are higher in energy as compared to the sigma electrons, right. So the pi, pi orbitals, pi orbitals is high, higher in energy and so this, <coughs> this, the electrons from the alkene are, uh, are transferred to the empty uh, empty d orbitals of the um, metal right so in in this case we have the metal as platinum so the uh, so the pi electrons of the alkene are uh, are uh, transferred to the uh, empty d orbitals of the metal and then the metal is, and then there's back donation and the metal then again uh, you know there's ba there's back bonding and the metal then contributes uh, i mean it uh, yeah, it contributes or it's it uh, it coordinates with the uh, alkene by uh, donating electrons to its anti-bonding orbital. That is the LUMO. LUMO that is lowest unoccupied molecular orbital or the pi star orbital, right? Pi star is the, pi star that is the anti-bonding orbital, right? So back donation takes place. So what happens is this this alkene it donates uh, electrons to the empty d orbital and then the metal donates electrons back. To the pi star orbital or the lumo of the alkene right so this is the bonding that takes place and uh, and this is a concerted mechanism okay so this is a one-step mechanism so uh, i mean uh, the presence of uh, uh, different kind of alkyl groups does not affect the the rate of coordination okay uh, because it's a it's a um, there's no generation of a carbo car carbocation or a carbonium ion right so there's no generation of a carbonium uh, ion so that is why uh, i mean the presence of uh, alkyl groups does not affect the rate of coordination okay so then uh, then you might think that the only reason then of uh, the of uh, you know the rate dependence is the steric uh, the steric repulsion right so if you might think that this ethylene this is uh, like the least uh, bulky alkene and so the rate of coordination would should be the fastest for this ethylene right and most of the students actually mark this uh, option ethylene and uh, I have seen answer keys of various uh, you know coaching centers and they have also given the answer as ethylene right but like I told you it's a very tricky question and this is the wrong answer right so ethylene is not the correct answer the correct answer is non-boronine okay non-boronine and the reason for that is see if i draw the structure of non-boronine non okay so this is the structure of non-boronine nor, nor okay this is non-boronine now this kind of uh, you know this kind of uh, molecule is very uh, unstable it's very very unstable because you know the angle that see the the, the molecule is not uh, geometrically geometrically favorable okay it is a very very unstable molecule and so because of the coordination see first of all this carbon over here is sp2 hybridized okay this carbon over here is sp2 hybridized and so so is this carbon right and they both are sp2 hybridized now what happens is when when this uh, alkene contributes to the electric gives its electron to the palladium complex right and when this palladium then back donates its electron to the pi star orbital this uh, these sp2 orbitals this the cc bond length okay it increases once the back donation takes place this c double bond c this alkene bond weakens okay and this weakens because the cc bond cc bond length increases and this sp2 hybridized carbon now attains a kind of like a sp3 character so from sp2 it obtains a sp3 character because of which what happens is the ring strain that is present in the molecule it is released so the ring strain is released 
and once the ring strain is re released it becomes more stable so that is why the rate of coordination for norboronis is much much higher okay and the, again I'll, uh, I'll tell you the reason because this is a very unstable molecule and because of the back donation this sp2 hybridized carbon it changes from sp2 hybridized i mean it obtains a certain sp3 hybridized character because of which the ring strain in norboronine is released because of which it becomes stable so that is why this is an exceptional case where norboronine even being even though it's a bulky alkene it still coordinates faster than the other alkenes like ethylene and butene right and then i mean so a question came like this so a question can also come on dienes unconjugated unconjugated dienes okay so let's consider 15 cyclooctadiene okay 1 5 1 2 3 4 5 right 1 5 cyclo so this, this is a one, unconjugated diene right this is 1 5 cyclooctadiene 1 5 cyclooctadiene right now this coordinates even faster than uh, even it, it coordinates even faster than the uh, norborine and the reason for that is that this this forms a chelating kind of uh, this is like a chelating ligand right and as you know chelate chelate structures are very very stable so this forms a chelate with the platinum complex because of which this coordinates even faster than norboronine right so if if in the exam you are given 15 cyclooctadiene uh, you know cyclooctadiene or you can just be given the short form which is cod you can just be given the ligand like this cod so then you have to mark this as the correct option okay and uh, see this all the all this example like this example which came directly from uh, directly in the paper for two marks this example is given as it is uh, on page number 127 page number 127 in the book uh, like i have been telling you for organometallics uh, the book is crabtree right crabtree c r a b c r a b t r e w -E, crabtree right so this is the book for organometallics and this and this is the only exceptional example that was given of norboronine and this particular question came as it is right so that is why i am telling you just go for this book because questions have been coming from this book and they'll still they'll keep coming from this book okay and uh, so just uh, go ahead and you know buy the book or just uh, get the pdf and thoroughly read this book and i mean uh, if you compare it from rest of the uh, foreign authors Crabtree is written in a very lucid manner in a very simple manner So it will be easy for you to understand. Okay So yeah